So we're moving on now on to, oh, we're going to San Francisco. It's going to be on the Aurora. It's going to be an amazing cruise. So let's have a little look at San Fran itself. So we're, we're actually flying out to San Francisco. Sounds good to me. I know, straight away, Tony Bennett starts playing in my ears. Uh, um, at least he's the... not singing. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. Not yet, not yet. Um, we have the Golden Gate Bridge there. You've got to go to the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, take a tram ride as well. Uh, and there's the famous Lombard Drive as well, which is uh, using so many different films where the cars literally zigzag down the hill. Uh, it's also got the sec second largest China dis uh, Chinese district uh, in Chinatown in the world. Uh, it's a fantastic place uh, to go. You've got Fisherman's Wharf, that's where you've got all your bars and restaurants and shopping. And of course, Alcatraz. You've got to go across there. Of course, famously held Al Capone and all the, uh, the villains. And of course, Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery mm. uh, as well from The Rock as Fabulous. well. So if you're a big film fan, so many films uh, of you, San Francisco, as a location. There's Lombard Drive. Um, uh, in fact, Herbie, uh, the famous book, oh, yes. oh, yeah. going down there. Oh, so yes. well, tell me age now. And we got a two night <laughs> stay here in a four yeah. star hotel. This is the start of our holiday. How amazing. It's, it's lovely that you fly across and you get a couple of days just to acclimatise and get ready to join the ship because the ship Aurora has um, always been uh, a firm favourite. I mean, I know on the Oriana, we're saving that to the end, but Oriana and Aurora, they were always German built ships yeah, yeah. Um, and built specifically for P&O and right. I think it, it really did show and still bear in mind yes she was introduced uh, but, um, back in 2005, 2005. Um, but she's been refitted I love the atrium on Aurora I think I think oh, Aurora wow. is really you know it is a beautiful ship and the fact it's family friendly as well is really mm -hmm. great uh, it's a nice size you know and again I think you know, taking Aurora around that sort of itinerary, it really yeah. gives you those iconic places to see. You know, it's got the gym, it's got the theatre, you know, we've got theme nights on here, we use tribute artists, we've got the children's facility, we've got beautiful deck spaces on this ship. And again, what we, we, we tr really try and make it a home from home, you know, although you're on the other side of the world, we're still a fundamentally British product. So we, you've got British TV, you've got British acts. We're flying people all over the world every day of the week to deliver, you know, an entertainment lineup that the Brits want to see. But, but you still get the daily newspaper. You do put, get your horizon yeah, newspaper every morning on, in your cafes. Oh, I tell you what's that. on through the day. We give you a cruise so overview at the beginning <laughs> as well. Um, and again, we just we try and reflect where you are in the world. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it is a beautiful ship. The refit's really stepped it up. It is lovely. It does look stunning, but also the places we're going are quite amazing. It's a beautiful itinerary. Well, the thing is, you know, this is a 30-night cruise, and the Which value that you've got here is, is just phenomenal. Mm. When you think about what a hotel costs you in the UK and what you're getting, apart from the ship, the facilities, the food, the entertainment, all included, but it's the ports. Um, there's so much to talk about that I'm going to skim over some of them. But how can I not talk about Hawaii? No, absolutely. Um, you're going into Maui, and of course, this is whale watching country. This is where you want to go. Can't be guaranteed, but the, you know, Gosh. I mean, look oh. at that there. If you get the chance to see that, well worth going on one of those tours. Fabulous. Uh, of course, Hawaii is what is famous for Honolulu. Now, this is your historic port, so if you do want to go and see Pearl Harbor, and you want to go and visit the memorial for the USS Arizona, then you can do. Um, another thing you want to go and do here as well is Diamond Head Crater. Uh, when the first sailors that came across to this part of the region um, first set eyes on it, they thought it was diamonds because of the actual stalactites oh, and all the crystals in this crater. But the beaches there, I oh, mean, straight away amazing. you think Hawaiian shirts, you hear the Beach mm. Boys, surfs up. Wipeout! <laughs> <laughs> you just got to enjoy it. You got to enjoy it. Anyway, then you've got some great days at sea. Now, of course, it's going to be packed with entertainment. You'll get your daily newspaper, as you're saying. Great shows in the evening, uh, and of course, formal nights are still quite. Uh, yes, yeah, we've got part. our formal nights. We've got our theme nights as well. So we've got 60s, 70s, 80s theme nights, uh, and you can find out all your uh, formal nights once you've booked, and you get to cruise personalizer. Perfect. They can tell you exactly how many uh, dress codes that we've got for that particular voyage. Excellent. Um, then we're going to be going going into our next port of call and uh, of course Pango Pango is just absolutely amazing. Uh, pa yeah, so Pago Pago Pango Pango. Which, <laughs> tomato Tomato, whichever, you, uh, you wanna, uh, whichever way you want to call it. Um, then you're going to be going into Samoa and of course this is the home of Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, he's actually got the, his house was there, 
self-contained novelist. Right. Um, it's a lovely place to go out and visit because, again, you've got some of the finest architecture in this region because you've got to think, back in the 1800s, um, all the colonies were going over there, the plantations. It was a really rich and wealthy part of the world. Mm. Uh, of course, the waterfalls uh, and the rainforest, the you've got to remember, are amazing, aren't yeah, this, this is tropical country. Wow. So even if it does rain, it rains, and then it's, in 10 yeah, minutes, I it, love it. it's steaming That's because it. it's, you know, you're dry. Then you're going to be coming down to Auckland and New Zealand. Now, the thing is, we're going to be talking about uh, New Zealand. We, of course, go to the Bay of Islands. We've got Wellington as well, which is the capital, uh, and Akora, all of these. Um, so much to go into, but if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, right. you've got to go out on some of the tours here because this is where they filmed Lord of the Rings. Uh, of course, you've got the wonderful Sky Tower that you saw in the background there. Um, it's a real clash of culture because, again, you've got British influence, you've got Scottish influence, one of the ports we're going to come to in a minute. Um, you feel as if you're in Scotland. It's oh, quite wow. strange. Um, so uh, it just re really is a brilliant, brilliant opportunity to go. Um, Wellington, as I said, that's definitely the place to go for the Lord of the Rings tour. And, of course, you've got all the Victorian buildings uh, from the 1800s. Um, quite a windy port that you've got there. So great for, uh, for going out and seeing. Um, you know, water sports will take right. part. Great. Um, then you're going into uh, Acroa. Now, this is where you go, the Transalpine Express. Um, this is one of the world's greatest scenic railways. And when you think about when Captain Cook sailed down to this region, you can imagine sailing in on the Endeavour and seeing these ports. Unlike anything that we've seen in our part of the world before, this is what you're going to experience. And we'll come to that in, uh, uh, when we get down to uh, uh, Dusky Doubtful and Milford Sound. Uh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Talking about Scotland, um, and uh, that's, this is, is this is actually pronounced. My producer, she's going, how do you pronounce this? Uh, Dunny Din, um, and this is hailed as the Edinburgh of of New Zealand. Really? Um, it's proud of heritage. You you know you've got traditional Scottish produce. You've got your Fabulous. own distillery. Yes, bagpipes are there. Excellent. Love them or loathe them. Um, and of course kilts as well. Is Neil Oliver still got his kilt? Neil Oliver still got his kilt. He still gets and his he legs does out. get it out every now and again. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> um, swiftly moving on, um, we're going into now, as I, as I mentioned about Captain Cook, of course, rich with history and of course with the Endeavour, there's actually the replica, I think it's actually in Sydney it's now, in Sydney. Um, um, but this is uh, Dusky Doubtful in Milford Sound. I highly recommend booking your tours because right. this fjord is just and beautiful to go through. And we can do that before we go away, we can do that through Yeah, there's, there's, if you actually go to the website or when you phone up the guys on the, uh, on the phones, I don't know if it's Glenn you're going to be speaking to today, either us or Glenn or George. <laughs> it's, it's one or the other. They're um, all, they're you, all fabulous. <laughs> you can you can book your tours and excursions and see what's available because um, you know book early to avoid disappointment. This is a great part of the world. But you finish off with a two night stay. Wow! In Sydney. In Sydney. Now, so we've I got was, a hotel stay here. Yeah. Car. I mean, apart from the Opera this House, is which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, of course you've got the bridge as well, or the, or the hangar as they call it in Sydney. Um, you can actually walk walk the bridge. Um, you're attached with uh, a safety oh, harness. Gosh. The safety harnesses are actually produced in Wiltshire. That was one of the really weird things. I'm originally from Wiltshire. I'm How up funny. across Sydney Harbour Bridge, and the chap's talking about who produces the safety gear. And it's in, I think it was Corsham or Chippenham, somewhere How close funny. to the Anyway, uh, you've got to go and see the koalas as well. There's a fantastic oh, yeah. zoo just off of the, uh, the marina. Um, in the evening, because of course you've got two nights there, um, you've got the marina complex, and you've got a fantastic casino there. One of the cleanest and one of the safest cities I've ever been in. I was really lucky, I transshipped from the uh, Caribbean to Singapore, well, to the UK, to Singapore, and then down to Sydney, and um, so welcome in there. Absolutely amazing stay. Just an amazing cruise. Have a look at what is included. You've got so much, this is 30 nights. It works out under 100 pounds per person per night for the most incredible itinerary. And in January, after we've had Christmas, January is such a dull month and it's something to look forward to. You have, of course, got two hotel stays as well at the start of your holiday and at the end of the holiday included, included in this, which makes it such an incredible, incredible deal. And all you need to do is a deposit today, so don't forget to jot down the identification number, which is 87988. And that is a fabulous cruise. San Francisco to Sydney. I mean, just absolutely amazing. But we need to move on. I could stay on that cruise, couldn't you? Oh, that was heaven.